this is the hat that we're going to be making. It's called Barley Hat by Tin Can Knits. This is the one I made. Alright, so for this barley hat, which comes in lots of different sizes, you are going to need some worsted weight yarn. And depending on what size you make from baby to adult, you will need 70 to 170 yards. US 6, 16 inches circular needle, and a US number 8, 16 inches circular. And you can use double pointy needles for the size 8, or you can get these longer cable needles to do the magic loop method, and then you don't need the double pointy needles. And then you need a stitch marker and a tapestry needle. So depending on which size you're going to be making, I'm doing the toddler size. Okay, so here's my yarn. And we make a slip knot. Okay, so for a slip knot, all you do is you twist your yarn and you grab the one underneath it and pull. Now let's get our yarn on our needle and you just kind of pull it and cast on the amount. So check in the written pattern how many you need to cast on. I need to cast on 72. So So what I do is I get my thumb and index finger and I'm holding the yarn with these three fingers and I just pull these apart. Okay? And then I get my needle and I go around and pick this side up, come around here and go through and you just tighten it. Let's do it again. And if you need a little more instruction, click on this video here. Okay, so do this for 72 times. Alright, and so now that we cast it on, we are going to join in the round and start our established ribbing, which is knit one and purl one. Right now you could join in the round, but I just do it with my first round. Okay, so my working yarn is on my right side. I'm just going to push these stitches, put it all around my needle like that. Okay, and then let's get our stitch marker. So knit one and purl one. Our yarn needs to be in the back. So we are going to go through our first stitch from the front to the back and then we bring our yarn over our right needle counterclockwise and bring it up and off okay and now we're going to purl so then we bring our yarn in the front and then we go from the back to the front Bring your yarn over counterclockwise on the right needle. Go up and off. Okay? So let's knit again, front to back. Bring your yarn around. And then purl. Yarn's in the front. Back to front. All right. You just kind of need to keep moving your stitches around the needle so that they don't get too tight. So knit, purl, knit, purl, so you know you need to knit. Okay, and then you just work in this one by one ribbing for one inch or however much it tells you to. Okay. That's how you do the one by one rib. I just finished my first row and so I'm going to slip the stitch marker and we're just going to start our next row by knitting 
and then purling. Knit purl, knit purl, but I just kind of wanted to show you how to start a new round. Okay. All right. So, in case you want to know, I did six rounds for my one inch. Now it says that we need to change to our larger size needles. So, you are going to unscrew this off, or if you don't have the interchangeable needles, then you just use your other size needles with your right needle and then knit all your stitches off with your smaller size left needle. Then, when you complete the round, then you'll change this needle to the larger size. All right, hope that made sense. Now, okay, we are going to set up the round. You need to knit 24. Okay, now that I did that, you need another stitch marker. And this says that it indicates the garter section of the hat. Okay, so for this whole round, you're just going to be knitting. But for the next round, this will tell you when you're supposed to start the garter stitch section. Okay, so now we're just supposed to knit to the end of the round. And I will see you at the beginning of round one. Okay, so now we're going to switch to our larger needle for our left needle. And now let's do round one. We are supposed to purl to our marker and then when we get to our marker, we're supposed to knit to the end of the round. That's <laughs> so weird. I want to like knit because we did it for so many rounds. Knit, purl, knit. But yes, keep on purling all the way to your stitch marker. And then when you get there, you are going to knit all the way to the end of the round. Okay, and then for round two, you are going to knit the whole round. So that's easy, right? Okay, so I just started my round two, which is just knitting the whole round. And so we are supposed to repeat rounds one and two until your piece measures five inches from the cast on. But if you want a slouchier hat, then you just need to knit rows one and two for an extra inch. And I like the slouchier style, so I think I'm going to do that. But either way, it would look awesome. All right, oh, I'm so excited to see how this is gonna turn out. All right, have fun. I just finished repeating rounds one and two for the amount that I needed to. And this is what it looks like. So, let's start decreasing. 
Okay, so we ended with our last round being a round one, which means we purled these and then knitted the rest. So for the decreases, we are going to do the setup round. Ooh, and we have to get some markers. Okay, so I'm going to have my green marker to be the beginning of the round, and the rest of them will just be these white ones. Okay, so we need to knit 10 and then knit two together. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we knit two together. So we skip our first stitch and we go to our second one. And then we're just knitting it. We go through the front to the back. But then we're also going to get this first stitch front to back. So you're just knitting them together. And then after you do that, you need to PM, which is place marker. And then you do it again. Knit 10. together and then place marker which is already there all right so do this all the way to the end of the round okay so you should have let me show ya it's kind of close okay one two three four, five, and six stitch markers. And that's including your first one that is the beginning of your round. I'm just ending the setup round. And now we're going to start round one, which is basically exactly the round one from before. We purl to the second marker, which is the exact same as the one before. So one, two, and then we're going to knit the rest of it, all right? So purl all the way past your first marker, purl, 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 get to their stitch marker, knit, 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 knit all the way to the end of the round. And I will see you at round two. All right, now that we're done with round one, let's start round two. So you knit to two stitches before each marker. And then you're going to knit those two together. And that is how we're going to decrease. Okay, so here's my marker. Two stitches before it, we're going to knit two together. And then you repeat that for your next section. Knit to the last two stitches before your marker. Then you knit those two together. Now you need to switch to either double pointed needles or switch to a longer cable needle to do the magic loop method so that you can work comfortably on your circular needles because these will get really tight like this and you won't be able to like push them or knit very well. So that's how you know when you need to switch to double pointed needles or start doing the magic loop method. Now when I get to that point, I'm going to show you how to do the magic loop method. It's really pretty easy. All right, so we're going to repeat rounds one through two 
two more times. Yay! Okay, now let's say it says next round, but let's just say it's round three. We knitted these first stitches last round, so we know that we are supposed to purl them. And this is going to be a decrease round, so we need to purl all the way to, to the last two stitches before our stitch marker. So we're going to purl two together. So you go from the back to the front of both of those stitches and purl them together. And then we do this twice, right? So we did this once, we're going to do it twice. And then we knit. So it's the same way that we decreased before, but they had to switch the first part because we're supposed to purl, not knit. Okay? Last two stitches, we purl them together. And then we knit to the last two stitches, knit two together. And then you repeat that all the way to the end of the round. I love it. It is looking so good. Okay, and your round is the same thing as what we've been doing before to decrease. You knit into the last two stitches before your stitch marker and then you knit two together and you do that all the way to the end of the round. So now you are going to repeat rounds three and four or the last two rounds until you have six stitches left on your needles, okay? Now, if you need to learn how to use the magic loop method, I'm almost there to having to change. Click here, and this video will show you how to do it. Okay? Yay, we're almost done! Okay, this is going to be my last round because then we're going to have six stitches, and I'm just going to show you how I do it. Um, in my video, for the magic loop method, I just show you how to do knit. But here, we need to start off with a purl. So with the knitting, um, you actually have your yarn in the back and then you pull your needle off. But when you purl, the yarn is gonna be down here. You pull off your needle and then we're going to purl these two together and see how your yarn is underneath. It's basically, it's like it's in the front. And then, sorry, it's kind of tight when I purl two together. All right, so there's that. Let's purl the rest of them together. Okay, hey, same thing, your yarn is not up back like this. That's how you knit. Purling stays down here. Bring that yarn in the front. Okay. So now we have six stitches left. We just need to cut our yarn. And then put your needle through. And then now you're just going to go through all of your six stitches. So there's one, two, three. And then this over. One, two, three, 
One, two, three, then I kind of slide it off. And then you pull it tight. Then I tie a knot. Then I put my needle through the middle and bring it on the inside. And then we just need to weave this tail and this one. And you can go through more stitches if you want or stop whenever you want, but okay, cut that off. I'll do this one and you can block it and you are done. This looks so cool. Awesome. I hope you had fun and enjoyed watching this video. If you did and you want to make something else with me, then here are some options. Or you can just go to my page and look at all of my other videos.